Hey guys, another Dig Attack focused video today. And before we jump into it, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the thoughts that I had as I was just getting it ready to upload to YouTube. Um, and that is, you know, the, really what, what I'm unboxing today um, makes it easier for me to practice the Dig Attack. And um, I, I think it's an interesting corollary. Uh, if you if you're into guitar or bass, um, there's a great uh, video Jared Dines did I don't know years ago, months ago, um, talking about the secret to success with guitar. Um, and I, I can I can link it because I think it's fabulous. Uh, like right here, we'll put the link to the Jared Dines. Um, but uh, you know he talks about practice and practice is important and part of the part of practice is um you know we're all real busy uh you don't always feel like oh i don't have time to practice uh and with guitarists they tell you don't put your guitar away in the case you know if you're traveling put it in the case if you're home and you just want to be able to like practice hang it on the wall get a floor stand leave it somewhere where your big brother won't sit on it um, but keep it out. And so when you walk by it, you're going to pick it up and you're going to play it. Um, this little studio that I shared with you, um, it's also my, my home office. I, and I'm not in here all the time. And also there's not a lot of room. So I think that being able to pick up the dig attack, um, and take it into my bedroom, take it into the family room or take it on the kitchen table and just like play with it. Um, easily without having to root around um, and undo like lots of wires and make space and whatever. Um, I think it's a good thing. So don't, um, you know, don't underestimate the value of making your life a little easier <laughs> from time to time. You deserve it. Um, so that being said, um, I am aware that I I'm referring to the dig attack as an instrument um, and not just a groove box and, and I believe it yeah I'm, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy into that narrative um, there are um, some people out there that play the dig attack real well real better than me um, and uh, and I admire them and I listen to their playing and I and I want to learn their tricks and I and I do and I try just like I used to with bass and guitar so um, anyway let's not think too much about that if you want to leave me some comments on that idea where you're like duh we all think that great if you disagree okay that's fine too um, anyway that's enough for the intro hope you enjoy the video um, leave me some feedback like subscribe give your mother a hug it's the holidays uh, if she's not around, hug somebody else. Be nice to each other. Um, that's it. Enjoy. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Today, I want to do another unbox. I got a package from Austria what it is is it should be my bird cord for the dig attack and so uh, I have a, a big old battery here um, let's uh, just get started I'm gonna unplug the dig attack it wasn't turned on uh, let's test this sucker out so hopefully of course, all the good stuff is near the near the opening. Here, for you, a a what is it? ASMR. Here we go. I hope some of you found that satisfying. So let's see. So the bird cord is supposed to let me power the dig attack with a battery. Um, so I got a nice sticker. I'm starting to get a nice collection of these. Um, appreciate the small packaging. I think it took, it might've taken more than a week to arrive after I ordered it direct from, uh, 
the website, but I did get an email instantly saying, hey, I'm out of the office right now. And that's fine because I wasn't in a hurry. Um, really, the reason I wanted this was not so that I can go make videos in the wilderness and seek succulents and what have you, but really because I like to move the dig attack around the house and uh, I'm really I'm really annoyed whenever I have to undo my power cables. Uh, or just I just don't like to do it. So I thought it would be really nice. I guess I could have ordered a second dig attack power supply, but I thought this would be nice to have. So you get the I don't know if you can see that. It is the 12 volt bird cord. And then on the website, it specifically says for electron devices, get some adapter. And yeah, it looks about the same size as, as that one. So let's plug in the adapter. I will undo, I also have a lot of these twist ties. All right. And I don't know what you're supposed to do first. Let's say I'll plug it into the battery, which is currently off. I'll plug this into the dig attack. And I like the little bag, by the way, it's very nice. I will store uh, my cable in there when I'm not using it. And and really, what I have, again, I like I said, I'm not planning to make videos and ask you guys to watch me jam in the wilderness. But like, I have this little lap desk that I bought at the bookstore a million years ago, and I like to sit on the couch and play with the dig attack. But again, I don't like messing with the cable. So let's. I'm going to power on this Mophie. It's powered up. So now, oh boy, we are rolling. So what time is it? It's quarter after three on daylight savings day. So it's like quarter after two. Um, so what I, I thought I'd just fool around for a little bit. I mean, so far I was really nervous about this actually that I would, um, plug the bird cord into the power supply and the dig attack would start. Oh boy, that's interesting that the dig attack would f fizzle for up. Hey guys, uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, I had to put this video on hold. I, I think I, I forgot when I did it. I think I mentioned it was daylight savings. Uh, it's it's all, all the way after Thanksgiving now. The reason I put this on hold is because um, so having a malfunction with the, the battery that I selected. Um, I picked a Mophie battery. I mentioned it in the original video. Um, that model battery might be fine. The unit that I had was defective. Um, at approximately 30 to 40 seconds in, after being turned on, the power would just cut and then turn back on. I imagine this is fine if you're using it to power a cell phone. Like it's probably not going to notice that it just like turns off for a second while it's charging. But for a device like the Dig Attack or um, my other favorite USB power device, I guess the Black Box, uh, you, you can't just cut the power on the device. Uh, and in case you're saying uh, Shank Phonic doesn't know what he's talking about, I, I have a video that I made and I'll put it up here uh, demonstrating this behavior and I actually sent it off to Mophie and said what's going on guys they sent me a quick note back and said yeah that's definitely broken and they offered to replace it under warranty but they didn't have any in stock so they were gonna let me keep the battery until TBD at which point they would send me a new one and they wanted me to pay for the shipping and they wanted me to send the old one back. So um, I appreciate the gesture. I took it back to Best Buy and I got my money back and then I bought this, this anchor. 
Um, and so far, I have not seen any of the. Um, I don't. I don't know that it was a surge, but whatever it was, it was it was undesirable. So this one isn't doing that at all. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, I had incorrectly thought because it was a brand new battery when I got the bird cord that maybe this barrel adapter um, was was sensitive um, and that maybe I didn't have it in tight enough. It's not. This barrel adapter, if you get the bird cord 12 volt for the dig attack, you have to buy this little like five dollar um, barrel adapter so that it fits. Um, I thought maybe it wasn't tight enough. It was tight enough and it's pretty pretty robust. Uh, so there's really zero issue with the bird cord. Um, and I think it's a neat company. Um, again, I just, uh, I think they're a very personal shop. I, I sent an email to Dieter who was just sort of like checking up. I don't know. He keeps sending me email. I guess he's my, my new best friend. Um, and I checked with him. Can I plug this into the wall? Or will that blow up my dig attack? Because I don't really understand electronics as well as I should. Um, he told me it's fine. It's fine if you want to plug it into the wall as long as the power brick that you're plugging it into has two amps. Two. Utah, give me two. Two, two amps. So that's all there is. So I interrupted um, my original take of the video because uh, I wanted to follow up and say that I'm, I'm not a total doofus. I, I didn't uh, fail to plug in the dig attack into the bird cord properly, but I, I did in fact have a defective battery. Other than that, yeah, I got nothing. Enjoy the rest of the video. What happened? I moved it and it shorted. And it might just be that I didn't have the adapter in very tight. So I'm going to put this down and I'm not going to move it. And then um, I'm just going to go to work uh, and we'll see how long this lasts. Now they, this, this is a huge power bank. Um, this is a 20,000, uh, whatever that unit of measurement is. Um, but I have something to work on uh that uh should i say one of my associate producers said it sounded a little too busy especially in the drums so i'm gonna move the drums over to dig attacked and uh keep the melody in the black box and just kind of kind of go um while i'm powered from the the bird cord here again no power coming out of the wall so this is nice I this way I can I can just take everything out and pick up the dig exact and go lay on the couch lay in bed just sit at the kitchen table instead of in the studio Thank the Psychedelic Meme Council. It's the Psychedelic Meme Council. The Psychedelic Meme Council. For for I just want to thank the Psychedelic Meme Council. The Psychedelic Meme Council. The Psychedelic Meme Council. The Psychedelic Meme Council. I just want to thank the Psychedelic Meme Council. It's the Psychedelic Meme Council. The Psychedelic Meme Council. For for my meme.